So I was documenting the situation in, uh, in uh, Lush Gargra, uh, but um, I also wanted to um, understand the, the, the Taliban or to report on them because they were, uh, you know, the main presence in a, in a Almond. And uh, they could not just be ignored. So I wanted to report on them also, you know, on the Taliban, about the Taliban issue. I want to meet them face to face. And the best way was to go to Musakala, where their headquarters was. Musakala was um, recently um, bombed by the coalition force. But I managed to go there and I saw, you know, a district which was completely destroyed. Uh, but still with people carry on with life. And, um, and I met the Taliban and um, actually they took me around as well to see some places. Um, and after a um, few days they asked me to leave. And initially I didn't want to, but then they insisted me to leave. And I, I realized that uh, lots of people were leaving Musagala. In fact, there was another air bombardment going on. And uh, so I left uh, uh, Musagala. I did have lots of photographs with me, lots of material that I wanted to edit. Uh, also because I was the only f uh, journalist at that time able to visit Musagala. Um, but uh, I did have any internet access to send the pictures from Lashkar Gah. The only place available was from uh, um, the, an NGO, but uh, this NGO didn't want me to use their internet connection to send those pictures. So instead, they suggest me to take a bus and go to Kabul. I appreciate their suggestion, but uh, I prefer to travel on my own with a local taxi. Because, uh, you know, with local taxi, you tr there is no scheduled time. You travel when the, the taxi is full. They insisted on taking this uh, bus. They said it's a new bus service. You go straight to take straight to Kabul. You don't have to worry about anything. It's comfortable. And um, they were insisting so much that they booked even a ticket for me. They were saying, you know, if you don't book the ticket the day before, you cannot travel. It's always full up. And uh, I trusted them. I say, okay, let's book the ticket. They booked the ticket for me, and this uh, ticket was written the time exactly the time I was leaving and the, the seat I was I supposed to sit. Uh, anyway, I take this bus. I sit where I supposed to sit. We leave Lashkarga. We've been stopped a few times by security. They were checking the traveling document of the driver. And then suddenly the bus was stopped again. I thought it was another con police control, but it was not. There were five armed, armed people that surrounded the bus. And then they put me in their car, they blindfolded me, and they took me somewhere in the middle of uh, nowhere. Unusual things is that uh, they didn't ask for my documents. They didn't take my passport because they didn't need to prove anything. They knew who I was. And then, uh, you know, initially they say they were um, the Taliban. Then I was very surprised. I said, How comes you are the Taliban? If I'd been to the headquarters, I spoke with some of them. 
and they allowed me to stay in the region. During the, um, the period I was kept in this uh, dark room uh, and uh, you know in a several occasions uh, they, uh, they, uh, they told me that they were going to kill me. You know, they used to, they used to blindfold me, taking me out in the middle of the night, uh, uh, putting the cosmic of near my hair and uh, loading it. Um, treating to to you know to, to to kill me many 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 times, uh, but I, I always tried to keep calm calm, and uh, the the only way to uh, to to do so was to avoid uh, the uh, emotion to take over me. So as soon as as soon as I was uh, averting an emotion, I tried to stop it, you know, to block it, and uh, to compress it and to, to hold inside inside my body, and uh, not to let it to spread over, over the body and my mind. So I was just stopping it. Um, and, uh, and I managed to do that. I accepted to, to die when I was there. I told myself the worst that can happen is that they kill me. They can do nothing else. So afterwards, you know, it takes me some it took me some time to um, calm down this um, tempest this uragan that was inside me. And, uh, yeah, which finally I, you know, I managed, but it took me a couple of years. And uh, on top of that, to understand what happened really with my kidnapping. Because when we don't know things, we are not comfortable with ourselves uh, because the more we know, the better it is. The more light we have, the more can we see. Let's put light on.